Upgrade is getting a TV series. So if you remember back in 2018, Bloomhouse Productions came out with a film called Upgrade. Wikipedia describes it as a cyberpunk action body horror. The premise of this movie, Gray Trace, a technophobe, is paralyzed. He gets a chip in his brain that gives him back control of his body, but the chip called STEM begins speaking to him. And STEM, this artificial intelligence, can take control of his body, helps him get revenge on the men responsible for his wife's death. On, do you remember this movie? Yeah, I do. We were in one of those small theaters with the reclining chairs. It was a That's great right. experience. It was one of those smaller, low-budget as always with Bloomhouse Productions, one of those smaller, low-budget movies, but a really solid thriller. I remember it came out around the same time as Venom, and the two were pretty similar. Yeah. And even the main actor in this movie, whose name escapes me, looks kind of similar to Tom Hardy, at least with the, when he has the beard. Yeah, Upgrade was definitely better, though. Yeah, you saw, you're the one who saw both. I didn't see I, Venom, but you I, saw both I saw of them, Venom right? on an airplane, like most people. Yeah, and Upgrade was better, right? Definitely. So Deadline reports that a TV series is in the works, and I know what you're thinking, Alon. You're thinking this is probably going to be a reboot that has nothing to do with the movie. That's where you're wrong. Leigh Wanell, the director of the original film, is coming back to direct the series, and he is a solid director. Not only did he do Upgrade, he directed the recent Invisible Man movie. So it's awesome to see him moving from movies to television. Tim Walsh will be the showrunner. He most recently ran the show Treadstone on USA. That was the spinoff of uh, the Bourne Born movies. Identity. The premise of the series, Upgrade, the series picks up a few years after the events of the film and broadens the universe with an evolved version of STEM and a new host. Imagining a world in which the government repurposes STEM to help curb criminal activity. Crystal, Zeev, Houghton, and James Rowland will also be in the writer's room. They helped run the second season of the USA series, The Purge, which also got a TV series. So first, before we get into any more detail, what's your reaction alone to an upgrade TV series? Uh, do you know what channel it's going to be on? They haven't said yet, but based off who's involved, my guess is it's going to be USA. Who brought us Mr. Robot? Huh. That's true. Usually when uh, it's a channel that has commercials, I'm a little You're a little hesitant. hesitant. That's right. But uh, They've done some good stuff, though. Mainly true. Mr. Robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did like Mr. Robot. I never finished it. But if it's up to the quality of Mr. Robot, I'm in. And we got the original director back. So that gives me a ton of hope. And I assume the log line we got, the premise, is just scratching the surface of what's going to happen here. So, spoilers for the Upgrade film coming in about two seconds. If you remember, Alon, at the end of that movie, STEM essentially starts to take over. We find out that STEM is not as nice an AI as we thought. STEM actually arranged for the main character's wife's death. So, STEM could get itself implanted into its head. So, I think the premise is ripe, for, ripe with potential. You could have the government trying to use STEM. STEM kind of gets out of control. So you have the government versus, versus STEM versus people that are probably trying to stay off the system, stay out of AI, stay out of technology. So you can get the great action and you can get the Westworld style philosophical science fiction. So I'm excited for this series. I have no idea when it's coming or when we can expect it, but... Anytime you tell me that the original director is involved, that just gives me a ton more hope. What about you, Alon? Looking forward to the series? Anything you would specifically want to see out of an upgrade series? Uh, I, I'm always very interested in the psychological questions of how humankind would interact with AI like this. Mm -hmm. So in addition to some sweet action, just want to see some uh, mental... Yeah. Uh, Sci-fi, cerebral yeah. sci-fi. Yeah, like we love sci-fi. So any way we can get more sci-fi on television makes us happy. So I think that wraps it up for Upgrade. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, the bell icon so you get notified the next time we go live.